In this video, we will continue with trigonometric equations. You will find this on page 199 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. Trigonometric equations which can be reduced to quadratic form. Okay. Show that the equation, and there is the equation, 2 tan square theta sin square theta equals 1 can be written in this form. Okay. There you can see the quadratic form reduced to quadratic. It's, it's, this one is double that one. And there is, is, this is just a constant. So hence solve the equation. So it's this one. But actually they help you by saying first break it up into this. And then they gave, they gave you the interval. So stop. Make sure your calculator is on degrees. Now you can to continue. I'm going to make it a bit bigger to see better. Let's start. Now, the first thing that we're going to do, so if we have this, we're going to break up this tan square theta into sin square theta cos square theta. Okay, put it over one, then you get this. Then you cross multiply. Then in the place of this cos square theta, I put this, one minus sin square theta. And then I take everything to one side and I simplify. Okay. And now they say. So now it's exactly what they want me to prove that it is. Now, we prove that this can be written as this. So they asked me to solve the original, but we already proved that it can be this. So work with this one that you proved. Okay. Now you can make it k or you can make it x squared. And this case... I made sin square theta because there was not an x. I made it x. So it's sometimes easier to see it then. Okay, so this is a trinomial. So I factorize it. So let's see, 1 and 1 and 2 and 1. This is in group B because it's a subtraction. So 2 minus 1 and that will just be 1. Okay, and then the biggest overcross gets a positive and that this one gets a negative and then x x so it's 2x minus 1 x plus 1 okay and now i replace put back in the place of x sin square theta so i did that then i put this one equals 0 and this one also equals 0 so let's start with the first one um if i'm putting this one so take the half over oh it's a square so it's the plus minus uh, the square root of this one so it's all four quadrants then but luckily the angle the basic angle is 45 so it's easy it's 45 180 minus 45 180 plus 45 360 minus and this is the answer okay and if i do this one uh, i reject y because you cannot get the square root of a negative number so you just stop that one and this will be your four solutions Right. Because as soon as you take that square, on the other side you must take the square root and there is a negative. Okay, now number one is more or less like the example. So I decided that I want you to do number two. It's a little bit different and I think it will help if I do a video on that. Okay, so stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Just going to make it a bit smaller and I can see it. Okay, there it is. Okay, number 2a. So, this is going to be cos 4x, 1, 2, 3, 1, minus 2, sin squared x, plus sin to the power 4x. Okay, so first I just said show shows it's an identity. It's proof that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Okay, so let's start. The left-hand side equals, now it's cos 4x. Now I can break this up into cos square x and then I square. Okay, 
Now, if I do this, I can now use that identity, just like the, I use the, there it is, there it is, that's the identity I'm going to use. So in the place of cos squared x, I'm going to say 1 minus sin squared x. It's now not theta, but x. Now, this is the difference between two squares. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. There is still a 2. It's not the difference between two squares. There's the square. Otherwise, it would have been a 4. So, let's just see. So, these two brackets will give me 1 minus sin squared x and exactly the same. It's a copy. And now I can multiply it. 1 times 1 is 1. This times this is minus sin squared x minus sin squared x plus sin to the power 4x. So it's 1 minus 2 sin squared x plus sin to the power 4x. Okay, and now let's check. Is this, this is 1, this, this, so therefore, left hand side equals right hand side. And that was number A. Now, hence or otherwise, solve the equation. Okay, now, this is another one they gave you here. Okay, let's start with number B. Now, first, just write it down. So, 8 sin to the power 4x plus cos 4, oh, sorry, let's just make it correct, cos 4x is equal to 2 cos square x. And again, stop, make sure your calculator is on degrees because they tell you x is bigger than equal to 0 and smaller than equal to 360 degrees. Okay, let's start. Now, let's see if this one can help me. Now, I have this. Okay, so this cos 4x, I can substitute, because this is sin, I want to make everything sin. So let's just start with this side. So I have 8 sin to the power 4x plus, and in that place, I'm going, which I proved, I'm going to put this. So it's 1 minus 2 sin squared x plus sin to the power 4x. Okay. And in this, because I see everything is in terms of sin now, I'm going to also, and I, can you still recall, in the place of cos squared x, I can say 1 minus sin squared and now I'm going to simplify. So I have 8 sin to the power 4x plus 1 minus 2 sin squared x plus sin 4x equals 2 minus 2 sin squared x. And now I take everything to one side. So it's 8 sin 4x plus, okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, just to try to order it a little bit. I'm going to put all that on and then I will start with my constants. So, okay. okay so I'm not going to make it a plus. I'm going to make it minus 2 sin squared x plus sin 4x plus, because it's coming over, 2 plus 2 sin squared x. Okay. And then it's plus 1 minus 2 and that's equal to 0. Okay. And now I'm just going to say, okay, this is my sin this is my sin, and this 2, that was a 2, and this 2, and then this one, and this one. So, 
Let's just see, that's going to be 9 sin 4x. Uh, this to cancel out. Do you see that? Okay. And then minus 1. And that's equal to 0. Wow. And now I have the difference between two squares. So if I break it up, 3 sin 2x minus 1. 3 sin 2x plus 1, that is equal to 0. So then, if I put this equals 0 or this equals 0, so it's going to be 3 sin squared x minus 1 equals 0, or 3 sin squared x plus 1 equals 0. So 3 sin squared x equals 1, 3, okay, let's first finish 1. I, I will come to this one. See, okay, so I divide, so I have sin squared x is a third, and then I have sin x equals plus minus a third. And if I press it on the calculator, Okay, remember, this is my sketch. Now, where is sin positive? Oh, it's positive and negative. Okay, so my basic angle, I can just find my basic angle here. Okay, so press on your calculator. Okay, first don't forget to take the square root of. So, go square root, bracket, 1, divide, 3, close the bracket, equals. Okay, it's 0 0.577. Okay, then shift because I go to angles, and then it's sin. And I'm getting, it's going to be 35.26. 35, two decimal places, 0.26 degrees. Remember, there it is positive, and there it is negative. No, sorry, that don't look good. There it is negative. So basically, I can say x, is that 35, and I'm going to approximate it, so 3, that's my first one. My second one is 180 minus that 35.26, and if I say 180 minus 35.26, and then I approximate it, and then I get in 144.7 degrees, okay? And then my next one, is 180 plus that 35.26. So 180 plus 35.26, and that is going to be 215.3 degrees. Okay? And then the last one, let's just move this away, and the last one is X, is 360 minus that 35.26. So 360 minus 35.26, and that is going to give me 324.7 degrees. Okay. And now, let's see the other one. Let's see what's happening to the other one. Just don't always assume it's not working. You just have to go now. just want to block this. Okay. So, let's see what's happening to this one. So, I'm going to say that this is going to be sin squared x equals uh, negative 1 and 3. And then I divide 3 and I divide 3. And then, then you are going to get sin squared x equals the square root oh, of negative. So, mm -mm, mm -mm. Stop, stop. So, well, let's draw them just say like sin squared x equals um, negative a third. And then you stop, because what will you say? You reject. I'm going to write it in red. Um, you cannot... You cannot get uh, 
square root of the negative number. You don't have to write this. You can just say reject. And your final answer will just be that 35.3 degrees, 144.7 degrees, 215.3 degrees, and 324.7 degrees. And that's how you do it.